Hi, it's Midnight Mule. I thought I'd like to make a short video about small talk, as it's something that, as far as I know, most Aspies struggle with. And I thought if I explain why it's difficult, at least why it's difficult for me, then it might help some neurotypicals out there that need to deal with Aspies. So first off, what is small talk? What do I mean by small talk? It's the small conversations that go on that, to an honest observer like me, seem pointless. Certainly the information and data that's being transferred is of little or no value. So an example of small talk that I might observe at work would be something like two people in the kitchen, one person says, hi, how was your weekend? The other one was like, oh, it was fine, thanks. How was yours? Oh yeah, mine was good too. Did you do anything nice? Oh yeah, we had a barbecue. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, we had some friends over and we had a really nice chicken. Oh, cool. And it's like, why? You're, you're not going to go back in time and enjoy the barbecue? You weren't invited to the barbecue, presumably? And it's it was always a mystery to me. Why are people even having this conversation? There was no value to the information, or generally speaking, there's no value to the information. And then since being diagnosed, I looked into it more and I asked my brother over and over and over till I understood what the point was and it seemed to me the reason people small talk is to have self-validation for themselves and the other person that the other person cares so the actual information exchange is of no importance what's important to the people is that there's somebody apparently taking an interest in their life but to someone like me watching these interactions they're just of new value and it's like you could totally fake them and to me they always seem totally fake so uh, that's me observing it so when someone talks to me when I'm observing people talking I to an extent can read body language have a certain understanding of the inflections see certain things as soon as someone's looking at me or the conversations to me I'm completely blind to all that stuff and all I have is the words and information so supposing I'm I'm at work and I'm busy thinking about something, I'm solving a problem in my head, I'm deep, deep in thought, I can think of one thing at a time, my entire brain is working out some problems. I may be several minutes into this, whatever it is in my head, I pop to the kitchen to get a drink and I'm still working on it and someone says, hi, how are you? And it's like, I've got to make a choice quickly, either I make an off-the-hand remark like, I'm alive, because that's always technically true, so I can say that. Or my brain needs to stop. I've got this big calculation going on. I've now got to park it. I've now got to think, what was the question? How am I? Okay, how am I? I can't say okay if I'm not okay. So am I okay? Right, now I need to like run a self-diagnosis. Think about physically how I am I, mentally am I. If the question was, how was your weekend? I'm like... I need to think, what did I do at the weekend? How does that compare to other weekends? And I'll try to come up with somehow assessing how I am quickly, based on all the information I can quickly recall, and then put that all together with some words that will hopefully not be offensive and don't seem too dismissive. And all that takes several seconds and a lot of thought. And all this processing I was working on, I've just lost some of that now, and that's that was important. So then I might I might give a remark after having done all this processing. Yeah, I think I'm all right. And then I know, ah, you're supposed to ask it back. That's why they ask. So I'll say, oh, how are you? And if I'm lucky, they'll say, oh, I'm fine, thanks. And I can say, oh, that's good. And by then, hopefully, I've got a drink and I can walk out the kitchen and I can try and reload onto my brain what it was I was working on. If I'm unlucky, they will then try and start up a conversation and tell me about the weekend or something. And I'm, I'm just trying to get back to what it was that I was trying to work out. And that's why I struggle. Aspies tend to be honest. You can't ask us a question and just expect an answer that's socially acceptable if it's not strictly speaking true. Now, if I went to the kitchen, even if I was deep in thought and someone said to me, hey, guess what I found out the weekend? And they came out with some really interesting piece of information all right, that's right, you can engage me now and I'll have a good conversation about that. I'll I'll think about what they said, I might store it, might check some out for later, I might have something to add to it. 
but just hi how are you how's your weekend how's your family these are all uh, very difficult questions for me so I think that's it I just wanted a very short video that's small talk